here today with a general reading for the sign of Leo. So this re reading could resonate um, with anyone who has Leo strongly in their chart. That said, Leo, um, we're all different ages. We're all living around the world in different places and going through different kinds of experiences. So from my perception and from my belief, um, not all of us are going through the same life template, even though we might have the same sun sign. Our natal char charts are very complicated. So um, let's go ahead now um, and look at the story that's coming out for this group of Leos that I'm um, reading for this, this week to see what story is here for you. Let's see what is the general energy for this group of Leos. What is the general current energy? What is this group of Leos currently experiencing? Now, when I get into your energy, and as I get into this energy, Leo, my voice, it's like it's kind of jolting. So there is there's some sort of there's kind of jolting energy that I feel like jolting, jolting, jolting. It's like a it's almost like horses hooves when they're when they're walking um, something like that that kind of an energy look at that fool didn't come out on the table but did show itself there's the current energy for leo current energy for leo current energy for leo Yeah, I knew it. Look at that. This is going to be great, Leo. I'm excited about this reading. Okay, let's look at what's coming in. What is coming in in the next upcoming energy, the next seven to ten days, the next couple of weeks, the next three weeks, whatever the next immediate wave of energy is. Let's see what Leo's is stepping into. What is this group of Leo stepping into? Woo! What is this group of Leo stepping into? What is this group of Leo stepping into, please? What is this group of Leo stepping into? What is this group of Leo stepping into, please? What is this group of Leo stepping into? Lots of transition, transitioning energy is what I feel. For the next incoming period of time. Let's look at what the guidance is. What is the guidance? What is the guidance for Leo, please? What is the guidance? What is the guidance, please? Yeah, the energies are strong. They're a little bit chaotic, but I feel really positive energies here. It's not without some turmoil, that's for sure. All beautiful change is done through transition, and transition sometimes can be sort of difficult. But I get an overall very positive energy here. So let's go ahead and continue with this reading. So we have the Ten of Cups in reverse. I don't care if the Ten of Cups is in reverse or not. The Ten of Cups is here, and that's a beautiful energy. Now we're working to bring the Ten of Cups in. We're working to bring this emotional fulfillment in. Um, and I think that's what this jolting energy is. It's like you make it so far, and then you have to stop, and then you get to go again, and then you stop, and you get to go again, and you stop. It's that kind of an energy. <sighs> Three of Cups, Ten of Pentacles. Oh, my gosh, you guys. Wow. Ten of Cups in reverse, Three of Cups, Ten of Pentacles, and the Chariot. You're at some sort of ending here. You, you're accomplishing some sort of goal. This group of Leos is accomplishing some sort of goal. Um, I mean, this could even be, I, I know this is a really easy one to say, but it comes to mind. There could even be like a baby being born where the Ten of Cups is still coming in so that it hasn't been born yet. But there is joy and celebration here, and there's a long-term stable future here, a long-term happiness, stability, comfort, um, comfortable, safe, um, abundant, long-term kind of legacy type of energy, and it's moving forward. It's headed towards, it's, it's moving forward. It's like time, what is it? Time does not stop. The momentum does not stop. It keeps 
Tick tock, tick tock, tick tock, tick tock. It's keeping moving forward. All right, but there's something here that hasn't quite happened yet. Whatever that is, Leo, it's 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 on its way. Like it's imminent. It's it's just almost here. Ten of Cups in reverse. Please help us understand. Nine, oh, damn. Nine of Nine of Cups in the upright. So there's a wish coming true here for this group of Leos. There is absolutely a wish coming true. Whatever this is, if it's a love affair getting going, if it is a marriage, if it is a new business that's established that's bringing in long-term gain, whatever it is, it's coming to fruition. It's in the process of happening. A wish is coming true. Look, you have the nine of, I'm getting excited. Leo, sorry, I'm yelling. Sorry, I'm shouting, but the energy is so beautiful, Leo. Oh my gosh. I'm scratching my head because I mean, I, I want to clap. I want to jump up and down. I want to be so happy. I am so happy. There is something coming true for you, Leo. It's celebration. It's joy. It's reunion. It's beautiful family. It's beautiful happiness. There's something that's coming into, coming into fruition for this group of Leos. And they're TikTok. TikTok, step onto my block. I don't know. That's ridiculous. But there's some, there's a happy bliss. There's something here that you're saying silly things you're doing. It's like, you don't care. You don't care what people are saying about you or thinking about you. Just like me right now, I am in this energy, this energy, I can't contain myself. It's a, it's a very youthful energy, but it is built on something very strong. Okay. I could stay here all day, but let's move on. All right. Because now I want to know what's coming. What's here? What's here? What's coming in next? What do we have to be prepared for? Because I remember that darn three of swords showing up, the first card I pulled. Remember how it fell on top? Let's see what is to be. Ah, all right. All right. <laughs> I don't care about that three of swords. Look at what victory, victory, like accomplishment. Like I'm putting this over the top. Done. Ah, uh, Leo. Oh my gosh. Okay, King of Cups. Oh, my hands even kind of shaky. King of Swords over the top, over the top of the King of Cups. Knight of Pentacles. Why? Oh, I should. Well, that's where he went. Okay, something is really happening here for this group of Leos. As you step into the next energy, Leo, something is changing. There's something changing. The reason why I feel like something is absolutely changing is because for some reason, and I would never do this otherwise, I put the King of Swords over the top of the King of Cups, and this King of Swords should have gone down here. But also, I am placing the Ace of Swords on top of the Three of Swords. I had a compulsion. Like, I have a compulsion to take this Three of Swords and actually move this Ace of Swords all the way over the Three of Swords. Woo, my hand shakes just a little bit. And then I have a compulsion to take these cards and put the King of Swords upright next to the King of Cups and take these energies and put them here. There's something that's falling into place. There is victory and there is <sighs> epiphany and wisdom and success over this anguish and pain of the past. All right. So whatever has been the story of the past, the path of the past, the pain, the heartbreak, the sorrow, the difficulty, the mental anguish, the confusion, the depression, whatever this is, even a loss of a person, a death of a person, whatever this is, there's victory now. All right, there's victory now. And sh stepping into it kind of shakily, right? It's, it's tentative, tentatively, 
moving over. So this is going to be this energy. I'm wanting to compulsively take this Ace of Swords and put it over the Three of Swords. But it's going to be a little bit of a shaky little bit of a process to do that. And it might kind of wibble wobble off, right? It might kind of do this. Ah. You know, it's kind of like stepping onto one of those rope bridges. You know, you see those bridges that go from one cliff to another, like in Asia, or you, you have them all over their rope bridges and there's steps that you step on and below you is the wide openness of the air before you see the ground beneath, beneath you. But the bridge has been walked on for millions, not millions, good grief. Let's talk about exaggeration, but like the bridge has been walked on for a long time. And you know that you'll be okay if you step onto the bridge, but when you first step on, it's like, oh, well, what am I doing? Why am I doing this? Am I going to be safe? Yes, yes, you'll be safe. You'll get to the other side. You'll get to the other side, my friend, because this is victory. This is victory. There's something happening here. That's it for you. That's signaling something new. That's signaling some type of major decision, major new entrance, major new level, major new enlightenment. There's some sort of doorway that's opened here that is a victory from the past and a beautiful entrance to the future, right? A victory over the past and a beautiful entrance to the future. We have the page of wands here. Look how you're feeling as you move into the next period of time. Youthful, excited about life, enthusiastic about this new change. And you're looking onto the new change and you're looking past the change into the past and you're seeing where you've been and you're finding glory and honor and gratefulness and appreciation and reverence for the path to come. And when I say that, I get choked. Like I'm choked up right now. So I have gone from feeling victory. I have gone from feeling powerful. Now I'm feeling reverent. This is a full swing kind of deal. On top of this page of wands is a knight of pentacles. <sighs> There's something coming towards you that is a long-term improvement. It's something that's gentle. It's something that is stable. It's something that's kind. But it's also rational. It's also something that you can't look away from. It's something that you cannot deny. It might be slow in coming. But when it's here, it's here. That's how the King of Pentacles is. The Knight of Pentacles is. Right? That's how the Pentacle energy is. It's slow. It's steady. It's stable and it's significant. If this is a man or a woman, it's what you've been waiting on. If this is a job, it's what you've been waiting on. If this is a new child or a new grandchild, it's what you've been waiting on. And it's going to bring new, stable improvement to your reality, whatever this is. You have a King of Cups here, Scorpius, Cancer, Scorpius, Scorpius, good goodness, Scorpio, <laughs> Scorpius. Oh. Sorry, I'm just in all of these emotions. I can't hardly even talk. Scorpio, Pisces, and Cancer. Scorpies. <sighs> King of Cups over the top. I mean, see? I just want to sit here. I just want to sit here with this Princess of Wands and look at the sword. There's a King of Cups here, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. On top of the King of Cups is a Six of Wands. And next to the King of Cups is the King of Swords.
Now, the King of Cups is a is a masculine energy. It doesn't have to be a man. It can be a woman. We're talking about the energy of the person. And the energy of the King of Cups is taking action out in the community. So this could be a person around you or this could be you taking action in the community, in your home. So this is not an internal energy. This is an external energy of love. So you could be a person here now taking action in your community, taking action in your home, taking action in your workplace or within your family to bring love and nourishment and health and vitality to the space that you're in, right? So it could be you in this energy of the King of Cups, or there could be a King of Cups around you that is coming into your space somehow, somewhere that is stepping out or stepping forward in a new way, taking on a new responsibility, putting on a new uniform, um, rising up above the crowd and coming forward um, in a way that is seen. Okay, so this is something that the community sees or the workplace sees or the family sees. This is not something that's happening with the King of Cups that's in secret. So it has a very public kind of an energy to it, Leo. So this could be your energy or this could be someone in your life that is coming towards you um, and coming towards you and putting on, on a new hat, right? Putting on a new uniform, taking a new stance or doing something new, doing something additional. This is something that is inspiring to others. It's something that people respect and it's something that will um, win some kind of accolade, some kind of congratulations. Congratulations. Congratulations, sir. Congratulations, ma'am. I'm happy for you. Congratulations. Glad to see you're on board. Glad to see this happen. You know, that kind of an energy. That kind of an energy is around this King of Cups. So this King of Cups could very well be the energy that's coming towards you. Now this King of Swords is quite interesting here. Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. It's like this energy that connects in with this Ace of Swords. Does it not? It connects in. It's like framing. It's framing to me. It fr it, it's framing what's going on. I feel like this is you, Leo. Seeing the big picture. But let me pull a card here. Tower. This could be who you overcame, somebody that you overcame, or a situation that you overcame that's connected with this pain, right? Because there's a victory here. Let's take these two energies now and do this. See, there's some sort of a victory. There's something here that's framing this. It's a part of this story. Six of Swords. I feel like this is you, Leo, this King of Swords. Seeing the big picture now, seeing the big picture finding all the pieces to the puzzle of whatever this catastrophe was that you have gone through. Whatever this pain was, whatever this catastrophe was, this crisis, this chaos in your life, you're moving on now with new en enrichment, new enlightenment, new peace and serenity now. You, you have clarity on what this tower was, why it happened, how it happened, who was involved with it, what it helped you to do, right? See, the energy is completely different. This energy in the middle is completely different than on the sides. It's seeing the big picture of this tower. Seeing it and having victory over it. Finding clarity, having victory, making the best of it. having it be a part of your story. This is a part of your story that you are now done with and you're moving on from Six of Swords, leaving behind what no longer benefits you and moving forward into a more calm, beautiful new season. Spring is on the way, my friends. Spring is on the way.
So there's two different energies here, leaving the past behind and moving into this beautiful new future. Aren't all victories tinged with history? Are they not? Aren't all victories felt because of some sort of contrast in life? There is a reverence here that's being felt, and there is um, a time being spent, Leo, really sitting in the new wisdom that you have and the understanding of how very powerful you are and what you have accomplished and how far you've come and how you've survived this and where you are today and what you're stepping into. It's like there's a book to be written. There's a story to be told. But first comes the next book. First comes the next chapter. But this King of Swords here, he's thinking about this. He's thinking about this. There's something that he's wanting to say about this, isn't there? Some way down the road, whether it's in a recorded tape or written in a book or put into a poem or made into a fine tale, this King of Swords will eventually speak the truth of whatever this is. But for now, there's something beautiful new, beautiful and new on the horizon. Okay, let's move on to the guidance and see what's here for guidance. We have judgment energy in reverse. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Ace of Pentacles, three of Pentacles. Five of Swords. Oh my gosh. I think sometimes like those cards fly out upside down so I can't see them either because I enjoy the unveiling as well. There's a new beginning here, isn't there not? A new beautiful improvement. A complete change in life is coming in. It hasn't fully come in yet. It's not fully here, right? It's not fully here yet, but it's coming in. It's like a rotisserie chicken here. You're just like a, um, it's like your, <laughs> thank you, that's the silliest image. It's like you are, it's like it's cooking. It's, it's cooking. Whatever this new beginning is, this Ace of Pentacles is in, is in the oven. It's cooking. It's rotating. This judgment energy, like, like something that's rotating around, that's cooking. It's cooking. It's cooking. It's getting heated up and it's going to come in. Okay. So that's what they're showing me. But this judgment energy is on the way in. There's a beautiful second chance, a beautiful second story coming in with the Seven of Cups. Right? It's it's on its way in here. Temperance, yeah. It's going to take a little time. It's going to take a little time for it to all, because remember, you have the Ten. You have a wish coming true here. The Ten of Cups is still in reverse, so there's still a little bit of time. But you have this Ten of Pentacles. And it's moving forward. So something, it's like the tick-tock. It's a tick-tock. Whatever this is that's coming in, they're asking for patience. It's a, The seven energies can be a little bit slow. You might not know exactly what it's going to be. You might not know exactly which option it's going to be, which choice it's going to be, how it exactly is going to come in. You might not know. But I see that you have something that you've started here with the Three of Pentacles, something that you've began. There is a new reality here. Ace of Pentacles, boom, surprise card, right? A new beautiful beginning, a new beautiful reality. Three of Pentacles, something that you have already started, and it has potential to be quite abundant and long-term and successful, whatever it is. You've already started it, and you've already 
come a long ways in it, right? You've painted that first painting. There's probably 10 more to do, right? Maybe you're on the third one. You have it down, right? You know what to do. You know how to do this. Five of Swords energy. Some kind of healthy selfishness here with the Five of Swords. Let's see what we can get with the Five of Swords energy. Seven of Wands, another seven. It didn't really come out. It just really showed itself, didn't it? You're still in a transition. You're still in the transition of this. Eight of Wands. It's incoming, though. There could be some sort of a little squirmish that's coming in that has to do with this new freedom. You can do this. Five energies. You've been in the five energies. You're in the seven energies. You've already done this. This could be something that, oh, no, I think there could be a small squirmish up ahead. It's something you can deal with. If this is applying to you, you'll know what this is. Is coming in. Could be somebody saying something or could be something that you have to accomplish to get this to come in. Something that you have to do. Something that, you know, you could be a little worried about. Some details have to work themselves out here. Could be with a Taurus for Capricorn. Queen of Pentacles coming in in reverse. Um, could be some so, uh, somebody that you have to deal with. Somebody that you have to work with here to, to um, step through some sort of... Um, gate or through some kind of block there's somebody there could be someone trying to block you or there could be someone from your past um, that is thinking only of themselves thinking only about money thinking only about their own security not about what you're doing that you're going to have to argue with here with the five of swords somebody that you might have to cut out of your life or um, have some small squirmish with and that seems like that's coming in soon for you that could be why the ten of cups is in reverse there could be someone here, Leo, that you're having to cut away or you're having to build a boundary with here with the Five of Swords. Because for some reason, this Ten of Cups is still in reverse. And there could be something that you still have to do yet. And it would be with someone who is only thinking about money or only thinking about themselves, is worried about their own stability, about their own success, about their own pocketbook, is worried about losing money, perhaps. And it looks like this... Um, there, there could be some work that you have to do with this person or with this situation, or there could be some communication coming in. All that said, there usually is some sort of transitionary energy that we have to go through with the five energies. So I don't think this is a surprise to you. Whatever the five of swords is, I don't think it's a surprise to you. It is in the guidance, though, so it's good to note. It's really good to know. I'm not going to stay too long in this energy. If this is applying to you, you will know, okay? So I'm going to move to the extended now. Um, there's so many amazing cards here. I'm definitely going to look at the Ten of Pentacles and the Ten of Cups and this Ace of Pentacles here. Um, what else am I going to look at? There's just so many beautiful energies, Leo. I'm kind of interested in this King of Cups, this King of Cups that showed up. I'm interested in the King of Cups. Let me make sure I, so these are the energies I'm going to dig deeper into. I think it's these four that I'm going to dig deeper into. Let me make sure. Oh, man. Yeah, it's these four energies that I'm going to dig. I'm going to see what the King of Cups has to say. And then I'll take this scenario and I'll move it out. I'll pull, I'm going to pull cards for March, April, May, and June. March, April, May, June. I'm going to pull cards for each one of these months. All right, my friends. Thank you all very much, Leo. It's always so much fun to read for you. I wish you all the best. Congratulations on this um, really exciting time in your lives. Thank you very much.